Hello, in this video I'll introduce deployment of X-Way Amplify API management solution in Kubernetes. Starting from version 7.6, API management can be deployed in two different ways. As a classic topology deployment, where all the components are deployed in the same topology as in the previous versions of API management. And the new deployment option called externally managed topology or EMT. This topology is managed by an external manager. In our case, it will be Kubernetes. Let's look at the classic topology. You see on this diagram several nodes for X-Way API Management classic deployment. Three nodes are dedicated to the Cassandra database, and four nodes are for Admin Node Manager and Gateways. Admin Node Manager is deployed in high availability options where we have two Admin Node Manager and Admin Node Manager controls the entire topology. So all the configuration deployments are done through the Admin Node Manager. Node Manager on the diagram is a proxy for Admin Node Manager to control gateways on that specific node. So we have two nodes with uh, gateways deployed on them and we have two node managers. And then we have two groups of gateways with two gateways in each group. So each group has two gateways deployed on different nodes for high availability and this entire configuration is controlled by Admin Node Manager. Now let's compare the classic topology with the EMT topology. We start with the EMT cluster managed by Kubernetes, where Cassandra database is deployed outside of this cluster. So the deployment of Cassandra will be as with the classic deployment. The next step will be to build Docker images that contain the binaries for X-Way API management as well as the configuration for your deployment of X-Way API management. These images are stored in the Docker registry and then you can use some mechanism like Helm charts to deploy the entire configuration through Kubernetes into several nodes. You see three nodes where X-Way API management is deployed. One is dedicated to Admin Node Manager and two for Gateways. In this diagram, Admin Node Manager has much less requirements and responsibilities. It's merely a monitoring tool that allows you to view the topology and see transactions that are passing through Gateways. The main transactions are processed as before in the Gateways. So what this topology buys for you as a customer, first of all, we take advantage of Kubernetes with its elasticity. So now X-Way API management can easily scale up or down by adding more nodes or more pods in Kubernetes and quickly addressing any needs for higher capacity of your installation. It also has a feature of auto-hailing, which means that if any node failed for any reason, Kubernetes will automatically restart that node and add it to the cluster. It's also much easier to upgrade. Using a rolling upgrade strategy, you can update each of the gateways one by one in a fashion that doesn't interrupt your production environment. Admin Node Manager has less responsibilities in the EMT topology compared with the classic topology. It is used primarily as a monitoring tool to view topology and transactions. So if you have any changes for API gateways or API managers, you go through the same route of building a new Docker image, publishing it in the Docker registry or where you locate or where you store those images and deploying new Docker image in this configuration. The new EMT topology also nicely maps into your business objectives. First of all, with the EMT topology, you have a much faster delivery 
of the business digital initiatives that are based on API management solution with DevOps friendliness and distribution of the Docker images you have a much faster ways of delivering any changes from development to production. It also has a tremendous effect on the operational efficiency of your environment with uh, features like auto healing, rolling updates and rollback of any new changes and scaling you have an environment that is much easier to operate, less disruptive to your business. And from the security point of view, since you're going to use Docker images, your security team can build a robust based image that is used for building X-ray API management images. So you have something that has been tested and approved by the security team, and you are taking the same image from development to production without any alteration in between. Thank you for watching this presentation. Please continue to watching the first part of this demo.